Hello guys and welcome, my name is Aaron Cooper, welcome to a brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today we're going to be playing some more Left 4 Resident Evil, and um, this is obviously part 3 to my walkthrough guys, so see I'm absolutely loving it so far. This game is amazing, and I do apologise about not making a video on this in quite a while. It's just because I've had a few technical difficulties with Left 4 Dead upon the PC recently. It's like, it's not been giving me access to the game, it's like, it keeps saying... Oh, I can play the game, but then it's not allowing the game to load up. And then um, recently I had, a little, I had a little update, and then all of a sudden it's fixed. It's allowing me to play it again. And so I'm really happy about it. And you're probably wondering, okay, Aaron, why are you wearing sunglasses? You're indoors, why are you wearing sunglasses? The reason behind this is because where I am at the moment is extremely bright. And I see it as I thought to myself, instead of me having to make things a little bit more dark in the room, I thought, screw it, let's put some sunglasses on. Why not? Try and get rid of Johnny Bravo. I used to love this guy when I was a kid, you know what I mean? Johnny Bravo was the man when I was a kid. He was absolutely awesome. I used to watch it all the time. I think it was on Cartoon Network. Sorry, Johnny. You're going to go to a bad place now, my friend. Right. We need to figure out what we need to do with this one because the fact is, I just need to like refresh my memory about what we were doing. Because obviously what it was on my previous videos, it, this, with all these B mods and stuff incorporated into Left 4 Dead 2, because obviously this map is Resident Evil 1. Um, the characters you probably recognize from Call of Duty Triarch Zombies. Um, some of the guns are just like unique cool mods and stuff. Cool. And Aceta's, obviously there's a lot of mods incorporated into this particular map. Obviously they like, just seen just, just literally shot Spongebob in the face. And I just want to try and get myself back into the rhythm with this game. I'm trying to find my... Ooh, there he is, there he is. This is my beautiful cat gun. This is Bay right now. This gun is mint. You probably saw it on one of my previous videos. Like, pff, this gun is just amazing. It's just so cute as well, you know what I mean? You, you stroke the cat just to reload it. First aid here. I can't pick it up. Someone pick up that first aid. Sorry, Wario. You've gone to a better place, my friend. Let's get rid of all these cats. Obviously, the zombies were replaced with cats. It is quite difficult to kill these cats sometimes. Because obviously, we're being quite small. So, uh, what I might do in future videos, I might switch them back to zombies. I'm not too sure yet. Or change them into something else. Maybe like Teletubbies or something. I think that'd be pretty cool. We're going to be doing more of these like Left 4 Dead modded adventures in the nearby future, guys. Literally, I've got so many cool mods I can use, and Asita's. I I just want to do more of these. I think they're very creative, and I can just be a big kid with them. And the same comes to when it comes to Call of Duty modded maps as well, because obviously, I like to do mod stuff. Yeah. Like I love to play modded maps. Like you see me play Super Mario 64 Zombies. You see me play Rust Zombies and stuff like that as well. And Asetas are just so much fun, like, it's different from the original stuff that you used to see when you're playing it on a console. This is my kid again. Right, watch out for Wreck-It Ralph. Ooh, I thought he was going to have me off then, to be fair. Right, let's get rid of these cats. out. And yeah, some of you guys have been asking me, will I play the old classic Resident Evil games in the nearby future? I will. Don't worry, guys. I will play them. I remember playing when I was a kid. And it's something I really, really do like. Like, obviously, in my life, I do love Resident Evil. I think it's always been something I've always enjoyed. As well as games like Call of Duty. Like, Call of Duty is always going to have a special place in my heart. Because I've loved Call of Duty since I was a little kid, you know what I mean? And always will be a fan of it. Weapons but games like Resident Evil and stuff, and Medal of Honor... They're sort of games I, you know what I mean, I've been brought up with. Like I've been they're a big part of my childhood. You know what I mean? I was playing Resident Evil back on the PlayStation 1 when I was a kid. And Medal of Honor was the game that, you know, I think what kind of driven me to Call of Duty when I was a kid. Because when Medal of Honor was like the main game when I was a kid, later on down the line in life when Call of Duty came out, I was like, Wow. <laughs> this game seems awesome and then obviously it's a good shine to Call of Duty ever since, you know what I mean? Every year I will give like my local game store like ridiculous amount of cash and like gimme card just like just give it to me as if like it got some like fetish like drug addiction or something but I, i'm pretty sure i'm not the only person who does that every single year like you know what i mean i've seen some of you guys like when it comes to queuing up 
on midnight release for Call of Duty, and many of you out there have just gone like, here you go, here's my cash, see you in a bit, I'm going home now, I need to go play COD. But, it's just one of them things. Right, can you just move out the way, please, so I can come through? Thank you very much. Look at your enemies. Let's wreck it, Ralph, again. Here's Sandy. Careful now. I'm quite surprised we haven't seen a witch yet. This is that's one thing I'm, I'm quite surprised about. Come on, Aaron. He's battering him with the cat. You know what I mean? It's not like it's animal cruelty or nothing. Just smack him with the cat. Grab by the tail, swing it around, use it as a battering ram. It'll be all right. Don't worry about it. Local authorities won't say nothing. It's a weapon after all. We need something for this. Um, hmm. I'm just trying to think. Where do you reckon we can find something for that? Uh, okay, we've got ink ribbon there. We've already got one. There's so one thing I might do in future episodes when it comes to the modded stuff as well, guys. I might switch out some of the weapons as well because even though I've got some great weapons on. I just thought, I'll just fancy on like changing them up a little bit. So you guys can see some different weapons every so often. That's a bit of a noobish mistake there. As you know me, I've been running through fire. It's like, no. I'm taking the yellow pill. I wonder what the yellow pill does. Right. Um. Well, what's in here? You use the helmet key. That guys, let's just try and get rid of all these cats. I keep wanting to say zombies, but they're not zombies, they're cats. I mean, okay, snipers in here or oh, hunting rifles in this game. Oh, 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 hello, shiny. There we go, we found a red jewel. I'm gonna see if that goes on that little stand thing. So, let's have a look. Ah, making some progress now, boys. Ah, I got the herb. We've got unlocked an achievement, the herb of life. You found a special herb. And obviously, what I did do for this one as well, I switched out Dempsey for Duke Nukem, literally, because I thought to myself on my previous episodes, I played as Dempsey, um, but with Duke Nukem's voice, and I just thought, you know what? I'll put Duke Nukem as my character instead. But I might switch it back to Dempsey soon. I'm not too sure. But yeah, let me know down below in the comment section. When you were younger, did you play any of the classic Duke Nukem games, like Duke Nukem Time to Kill and everything, or Land of the Babes? Did you ever play them games? If you did, you were awesome. Actually, I remember playing them when I was a kid. You know what I mean? Them games were well meant to be a bit too old for me. You know what I mean? But Duke Nukem is just one of them sort of characters which is going to be like an iconic character when it comes to people's past. You know what I mean? I think when I was a kid, I think it was Duke Nukem, people like Johnny Bravo and stuff, and Action Man, believe it or not, were probably like the the main sort of like go-to guys in life, which were like, you know, the ultimate badass people. Like, people would like go, whoa, these people are fearsful, you know what I mean? You have to watch out for these guys. They know how to kick butt, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure I'll probably give you a bit of a nostalgia moment just by talking about them people as well. You're probably thinking, do you know what? I used to have like a little Dude. collection of action men or something when I was a kid. You're probably thinking back now. You're probably asking your parents, like, mum, dad, did I have like a toy box full of action men when I was a kid? Did you go out the way and spend ridiculous money on these things? And you probably look at them now. If you do still have them, you're probably Whoa. thinking, why do I keep these things? <laughs> but they'd be worth a lot of money one day if you do. I just need to figure out where I need to go now, but I might just do a little bit of exploring. Just for a little bit, see if we can find anything cool. Check out my pistol. Cat's head's glitched in the wall, why not? 
Hey, kitty. Hello, kitty. Move out of the way. It's my door. Thank you very much. That cat's just like sticking out the table. Stuff like it's a part of the table set. Today you buy a table. You buy chairs and just you buy a gr little kitty sticking out of table. We sell it to you for one million dollar. Not very good with accents. Try to. Look at this. Wow. I'm loving the pistol. Uh, I'll take that now. Right, I'm gonna put this down. One second. Looky here. Got some explosive ammo for this bad boys. Oh, yeah. Now I've got my fresh hardware. Mm. Right, let's go see what this pistol can do. This pistol, or this deagle, is just amazing. Yeah. I love like the like the design on this weapon as well. It's proper like glows and everything. Lock and load. Kind of looks like a gun that you'd see in a game like Sleeping Dogs or something. Hello, kitty. This is something you do not see every day. Actually, a cat that fires explosive ammunition. So all you younger audience out there, please do not harm your own cats at home or dogs thinking that they can fire explosive ammunition. Trust me, it won't end out very well. Your cat or your dog, if you do attempt to try and hold them in this way and use them as a weapon, will probably get really scared and probably try to attack you. They'd be probably wondering what the hell is going on. Damn it. And just remember, what I do in this game stays in the game. You know what I mean? I don't, do not do any of this in real life. If any of this was real anyway, you know what I mean? Do not do it in real life. Um, I'm not. I don't know. Shall I check in here? Okay, I think I've already opened that on a previous episode. Yeah, I think it did. Yeah, I opened it up because I remember getting that. Uh, I generally do not know where I need to go right now. I'm completely clueless. We put a gem down. Uh, we've got extra health. Is there anywhere else we can actually go? Ooh, uh. Ooh. There's a little kitties in here. He's a cute little potty cat. I like uh, and speaking it. of my cats, by the way, guys, I know some of you asked me, like, um, how my cats are doing. Um, I've had to get rid of them recently, believe it or not. It's, it was a bit of a touchy thing because I got really attached to my cats. And obviously, I think my cats got really attached to me. But they've gone to a better home now. I've had to rehome them. And the seat is... They're in a better place now. It's like... And they're really happy for one I'm here as well. So it's a good thing. Oh, wow. It's just kind of had a situation with my landlord. Like he was saying, I can have pets, and then he was on about I had to have all the particular pets, and apparently I wasn't allowed to have the cats, which he didn't state that, which was a bit disappointing. But still, on this tombstone, we got zero eight one five. So obviously, I have to try and remember that just in case I need it in future reference. So zero eight one five, okay. Um. So yeah, about to get rid of my cats, but I may be moving soon, so which is going to be pretty good. So when I do move. Damn it. I see it is. I might get a little doggy. Like, you know what I mean? I might get a little puppy or something. If you would like to see that, let me know, guys. Let me know. Leave some comments in the comment section. Let me know. Alright, come on. Let's keep going now. There we go, Diddy Kong. Let's try and take down this little, little monkey. There we go. Let's take on that right next to SpongeBob. Right. I think a lot of you guys might recognize this weapon. If you play Overwatch, you probably will recognize this weapon. This is the weapon that I believe the character Soldier 76 uses. I'm all out. Pretty, pretty cool weapon. 
But do I want Kitty Gun or do I prefer this gun? I think I prefer this gun, if I'm honest. I quite like it. Kira. Watch out, SpongeBob's behind you. Come on, boys, jump in the left. There's another character down there. Is that Bill from my Resident Evil? Not Resident Evil from Left 4 Dead 1. Or is that like another character or something? I swear, there's only meant to be four characters. Um. Ooh. Oh, you got the battery returned to the courtyard. Oh, Come sound. Is that it now? So we just return and that's it? Seems a little bit dull. I want to have a little, little look Girls, around yeah. first, though. Hello, kitty. Why are you going for floor? Yeah. Okay, the store's locked. Going, just keep going. Nice, wait, wait. What do you want? I want a crabby patty. Some tomato sauce. Um. Shit, come on. That'll hold me. They come. Ooh, hello. Ooh, shiny lights. What? Can we move this? Hey, we might. I got this for you. Ah, a secret. Grab it a shot. Nice. You've taken the ammo disc one. Okay. Right. Let's go, Soldier Seventy Six, on these enemies. No, 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 no! Get him off me. So we're going back to the courtyard. All aboard. Hello, Nikolai. Hello, Takio. Hello, Richtofen. It's been a very tough day, hasn't it? You're in the wrong universe, the wrong game. You're not killing zombies, you're killing cats. How cruel can you get, you know what I mean? How cruel. I'll report you to the RSPCA. I'm pretty sure they'll have something to say about that. Uh, let's see where we're going on with this one. Whoa, there's a lot of cats. Down, kitty. It is time to kill everyone, indeed. Gary! Pull out. Um. Just trying to think. Should we be the quickest way back to the courtyard? I think we'll have to get along this way. I'm just cut all the way around. <laughs> um, which would be the quickest way? I generally do, I can't remember. It's like, it's just one of the things. Mine's gone pretty blank this morning, guys. I'm not going to lie. Hang on. Can we put the code in this door? Oh, sorry about that, guys. My alarm's just going off on my phone. Literally, I wasn't even meant to be out of bed yet. Literally, I, I literally woke up extra early this morning. I think it was like, what was it, what was it that woke me up? I think someone rang me, and then I missed the call, and then I had a letter for the letterbox that woke me up. And then obviously, I was meant to set my alarm to wake up a little bit later on. And then my alarm has gone off now. And the seat is, I forgot to turn it off when I was when I'm making this video. So I was like, no. My audience is gonna hear my annoying like alarm tune in the background. Right, I think that we're good to go now. All right, come on, team. I need every one of you inside now. Watch inside. Out. No, 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 no. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! But yeah, 
I think. I am the Duke. That'll do, guys. I am A number one. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe, guys. Really, really appreciate it. And I know I look so much like an idiot right now wearing glasses indoors and stuff. But at the end of the day, it stops the brightness from getting in my eyes. Um, anyways, have a marvellous day. If you enjoyed this particular video and you want to see more Left 4 Resident Evil videos, then let me know. Leave some comments in the comment section. Have a great day, and I'll see you all again next time.